country's first widespread election after the enaction of the photo ID law is now winding down. KRCG 13's Garrett Bergquist has been checking in with voters throughout the day. He joins us live from Ashland to tell us what they think of the new rule. Elizabeth and Kermit, so far, voters and poll judges alike say this election has gone off without a hitch. Most voters say they're used to checking in with photo IDs. A slow but steady stream of voters cycled through this polling place in Ashland. At stake here, a countywide sales tax issue and a state house seat. If we don't vote, I don't think we have a right to complain about what's going on and a lot of people risk their lives to give us that privilege and, and I think we should honor that as well and do our civic duty and make sure we're out there uh, expressing our opinion in the voting booth. Voters in Boone and 54 other counties are the guinea pigs for Missouri's first large-scale election with a photo ID requirement. Election workers say the new law hasn't caused any problems. Most voters are showing their ID by uh, presenting us with their Missouri driver's license or uh, their uh, registration card they got in the mail. So it has gone very smoothly. Voters say casting ballots is as easy now as it was before, though some wonder about those without driver licenses. It was fine uh, for me. I worry about it for a lot of other folks, a lot of other Missourians that, uh, you know, maybe the, the driver's license is an issue or something like that. Without any form of identification can still cast provisional ballots. I checked with three different polling locations in Boone County, including this one here in Ashland. None of them said anyone has asked for a provisional ballot. Reporting live in Ashland, Garrett Bergquist, KRCG 13.